First and foremost, we think of ourselves as really a medical material management company. We're in the space where there's a lot of oversight and accountability for a high value product that has unique needs as far as its distribution. So if you look at all the shipments that we've made since 2007, it's in upwards of 3 million shipments. We've had three, three shipments that were compromised in that entire time. Two of them were delays from the carrier, and then one of them just couldn't handle a thousand degree temperature engine blast. That's really been our whole approach as a company. Let us worry about the logistics. We've got backups, we've got contingencies, we've got tertiary support, the whole nine yards. And we have all the data to show every single one of those shipments from start to finish, because it does one thing, it saves people. And that's what we're about. Pharmacy is the only industry at which the tolerable error level is zero. Our success rate is well over 99.9%. Well, the problem is they're either doing the dry eyes or the frozen gel packs. Gel packs create all sorts of issues. One, they're bulky. A lot of them are petroleum based and they leak a lot. So now you have that whole image, you know, it arrives and you got to remove all this goo off of your sample. And that gel starts oozing all over your bench and I'm in a clean facility. So that is shoving that, that HCP experience right down the hole and saying, I could care less what, what they've got to deal with to save six cents on a gel pack. Dry ice is a hazardous issue. If the pilot says, I don't want dry ice on my cargo plane, off it comes, so you have delays in there. The cost of that dry ice is outrageous. Then you have your hazardous goods escalation from the carrier and all the documentation that goes around it. Just eliminating those three things more than makes up for any, any increase in the packaging price for a reusable. We use our platform to send that. It's not getting beat up because of frozen gel packs getting rumbled all over the place during the shipping process. It arrives, they get the full efficacy, no leaking refrigerant, and it's reusable. The footprint of a styrofoam shipper is at least twice what our VIP shipper is, and the weight is a lot less. And so that's where you see an additional safety. Gallon JMB, make sure the product is more secure as far as its thermal properties throughout throughout the entire supply chain. These really high performance shippers last four days instead of one day. No dry ice, no gel pack, no styrofoam, and zero waste. Well, imagine if you know it can go two days or maybe three days, change it to two-day saver or three-day guarantee. That's the beauty of our shippers. We can do minus 40 to plus 70 C in the same shipper. So even if the shipper cost under the lease program is cost neutral, or maybe it's $2 more. Well, I've saved you 65% in shipping costs, not to mention it's a whole lot easier to pack. And we've saved them 30 minutes by going with the zero bench time approach. So now there's this cost saving in the labor to ship the product out. We'd also get notes from the reusable packaging that says, thank you for being so considerate. Not one other vendor, not one other supplier does this. They love the reusable model. We're the only organization within the thermal shipment platform that has a registered trademark process for reusable shippers. ship to q uses active and passive, the wipe down process and UV set that will more than back down or kill everything up to anthrax spores. That packaging, every, every piece of it is much cleaner than new off the shelf. And we've tested that to the point where CDC actually endorsed that process during COVID. We are a zero bio footprint and organizations are now taking advantage of the carbon credits. Everything gets repurposed and reused, recycled. The green boxes, when they get ground up and reused, the PCM goes and gets recycled, re rejuiced. The bottles get ground up and it goes into either the cement industry or actually making playground equipment. There's really nobody else that is approaching zero bio footprint. Those samples right now are coming in a styrofoam shipper. They're trash. They don't have the capability of sending up for repurposing. And so that person's entire storage area is filled with styrofoam shippers. What are they gonna do to get rid of it? Our shipping system automatically comes with a return label. So all you have to do is set it out. UPS, FedEx, US Postal Service will pick it up and it'll come back to us for reclamation. They don't have to, you know, buy a fleet. We can send them what they need for the week, already conditioned, and then they can push it forward. Cal and JMB has the capability in the pharmaceutical space to do start to finish. And what I mean by start to finish, we can either order for the customer or the customer can order pharmaceutical products. It can be stored here in all of the proper storage requirements. Then we have the tools and the capability within our lease fleet and our data monitoring to package it, kit it if it's required, and then ship it out.